Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number two. All right, the previous episode, uh, it was episode number one. It was an amazing start. I had never expected something like this and I'm really glad uh, that <laughs> it is something like this. Uh, it's like, uh, it's basically like a space adventure uh, with science, like, you know, sci-fi like elements and, um, I, and a YouTuber and a, and a guy who wants to wants friends so <laughs> it's basically it and um, yeah I, I, I was I was quite surprised at like you know the, the whole like space themed uh, thing especially from like Hiro Mashima I was not expecting at all like you know fairy tale was a completely like fantastical like a story like uh, you know like dragons and uh, other kind of like things and dragon slaying fire magic and like you know all like magic and stuff it was something like that so suddenly something like this you know I was not expecting and I'm really glad it is something like this and uh, like there's like these kind of there's, there's also dragons here but like me mechanical dragons and all and I don't know I, I, I feel like this will be amazing <laughs> you know and all the characters and like happy is also here I don't know how happy is here but I'm guessing it's some other like parallel universe happy or something I don't know <laughs> and um, like Rebecca looks like Lucy and uh, Shiki looks like I think Gajil or like a little bit of Rogue like mixture of Gajil and Rogue or something So yeah, I'm quite excited to see what like what more like surprises this anime has so has in store for me So yeah guys without further ado, let's get started with episode number two of Eden Zero So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started All right, so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. This is really beautiful, you know, the visual. It's so bright and colorful. Damn, look at it. And there's like, yeah, sacred petals in the space. And the previous episode was really emotional as well, in a way. Like, I was not expecting that as well, like, them acting like that so that she will go out. Okay, the opening! All right, it's a good start. Okay. Okay, let's see the cactus. Oh, this, he looks like <laughs> Wendy and Blue is also there. Okay, that's it. Elsa, what the? Elsa is here. <laughs> okay, I should have expected Elsa because Elsa is so popular. Oh, she looks a lot like Kagur. Uh, not kind of. Oh. So this was the crew? Oh, the sh name of the sheep is it in zero. Okay. Oh, this, this lady sitting in the middle of the cosmos. That looks really like Wendy. Like Wendy and Kagura. Uh, what was her name? Kagura or Ka Kagura? Kagura. Mixture of them both. B cube. What is a B cube? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. 
Yes. B cube. Oh. Damn. <laughs> B cube. <laughs> Come on, Shiki. <laughs> oh, automatic sensor system. Wow. It's really the future. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. Oh no, he's depressed. Okay. Damn. Blue garden. Oh, okay. So this has a guild system as well, I'm guessing? Planet with a lot of... Oh. <laughs> okay. Bodyguard, okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, they're already there? Blue Garden. Planet of Adventurers. Whoa. Damn, this is... <laughs> okay. Shooting Starlight. Oh, she uses that as a necklace. Okay, it's like she can like, you know, record videos like that. It's kind of like, a, you know, vlogging. What the hell? That was, that was leave. After this end, I'll check that scene out again. Was that a cameo? Digital influencer. Oh, is that so? Oh. <laughs> Everyone. Oh. <laughs> Um <laughs> mm, two what fiftieth anniversary oh, this is that lady. Oh, that's mother? Oh, yeah, they said. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I, I remember. Um. Um, that, that's, that, that's, that's, uh. Hmm. 
Well, he doesn't know that, that it's like a re video recording. Oh, hologram. Okay. Okay. What does he do? Like sitting there? Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's no like proof that she grants wishes? What? You've met her? Oh. Um. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, enough. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is... Oh! Okay. Hmm. Oh. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what? What the hell? What the hell is that? He got catnapped. Exceed. Oh. Wait, they they're bringing stuff from fairy tale in here. So this happy is also an exceed? <laughs> Friend <of> thief. <laughs> okay, Shiki can fly, so it will be quite easy for him, I'm guessing. B D U B, what is that? Oh, wait, she has some kind of trauma? Damn, Happy looks the same size that he... Yeah, he can fly. <laughs> or like, he can like, you know. Damn. Oh. <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like prime example. Bad guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. There you go. And there goes your um, motorcycle or whatever that is. Oh, God. Damn.
Um, so Rebecca named him. Like, I think Nasu also named Happy Happy because of that, didn't he? You know, because they were happy after meeting him. <laughs> oh god. Um, damn, you have a screw in your head. What the hell? <laughs> what the? What's that laugh? Yeah, she's a B-tuber or B-Q, no, B-tuber. Um, yes. I'm surprised people do not watch her videos even if, even though she has happy with her because you know, happy is like an exceed. I'm guessing it's there there. Damn, Happy was big. She also doesn't know who her parents are. Oh. Okay. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Sliding master. And... Gravity. There you go. Okay, he knows about it. Oh, damn! What the? He brought out a Gatling gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bro, okay? Oh, okay. He's free. Um... Oh, damn, what happened? Oh, no! Wait, what? Wait, what happened? This is the past, isn't it? I'm guessing Happy got injured and... Wait, what happened? Okay, I'm guessing, uh, she, like, he was not, like, he was injured gravely. He was not dead. What? Wait, what? Wait, Happy is a rope? Guns! Oh my god! What? Oh. 
What? Yeah, what are those? What animation is she using? Like no one's dying, she's just... Damn, she has three gasoline guns now. <laughs> um, you should move, I think, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, this guy and his nipa papa. Great. <laughs> I'm really curious what ammunition is she using? Like you know? Oh, damn. Damn. Aether bullets. Okay, Aether bullets. Oh, so Happy is a robot. So, oh, so... So... Oh, okay, okay, so that was that accident. Okay. <laughs> I'm curious who fixed him. Like, you know, lose, like, Rebecca don't have, doesn't have any money and how, and why did he... Like, who helped her at that moment? Oh yeah, that's why she said something like that. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot about that completely. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? What is this spaceship? Elsa, it's Elsa. I can recognize that voice. That's definitely Elsa. <laughs> there you go. Damn, she has a sword. <laughs> What's her name? Um, translation, someone, please. I'm sure we'll get to know in the next episode. <laughs> okay, that was fun. We can see a few new characters. I'm guessing they're going to um, join the crew. There's this other guy, a uh, yellow-haired guy, um, he looks a lot like, oh damn, that's, a lot of characters we can, like, just say, uh, like, yeah, this is that character, but a lot of characters, we have to kind of fuse other characters together, to, like, you know, this guy. Uh, he looks a lot like Luxus, you know, uh, and, um, what's his name? I forgot, um, Makarov's, um, grandfather's, uh, I cannot remember his name, 
he looks a lot like him as well. Obviously, like, the, like you know, Makarov is a descendant of his. <laughs> Dreaming. Avnika <laughs> channel. Okay, so... Alright, so the, 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 the name of the YouTube channel is Aoneko. So Ao means blue and Neko means Neko, that is cat, so blue cat channel. <laughs> okay, so um, one thing that I said I'll check it out and I will definitely check it out now is was that Liv Levi and like Levi and wh what is that? This is just a sec, where is that portion? Like, was that a cameo? Yeah, 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 here, here it is, here it is! <laughs> it's, uh, Levy and... Uh, I, I forgot their name, Jet and Dried, I think their name was? I forgot completely, it's been a long time I watched Fairy Tale. Um, like, it's a cameo, isn't it? Like, they look completely the same. Like, like... You know, you know, there's no fus fusing other characters. It's it's them. It's them completely. Like them, like <laughs> I think that's like a cameo they like put in a little bit. Uh, is there any other cameo? Um, no, I don't think so. There are no, no, no. I think that they're the only ones. I'm hoping we'll get more cameos like this. You know, in the future. <laughs> that's just something like you know and another thing that i noticed here is uh, from the opening um we're going to get a character who looks completely like wendy and kagura like a fusion of them kind of isn't it let me just um where where are where is it Okay, just a sec. Yeah, she looks completely like uh, Wendy and Kagura's fusion. Like, you know, like Kagura with her, like, you know, it's like she has like Wendy's hair and yeah, her Wendy's hair and her face looks a lot like Kagura. Like it's a weird fusion. And the other guy, um, the yellow haired guy, as I said, like he looks a lot like um, uh, you, you know, uh, like uh, Makarov or like Laksas, like they're like, you know, they're um, like they look a lot like them, uh, especially like uh, I forgot his name. What was his name? Uh, Makarov's grandfather, I think, or was it his father? It's been a long time I've watched Fairy Tale, I like, completely forgot about a lot of things, especially um, the names. I cannot remember. Ugh. God damn. Like, uh, you guys can understand who I'm talking about. Like, who was in Mavis's party, you know? Uh, like, in Fairy Tale Zero, that guy. Like, who was an uh, ancestor of Makarov. Like, he looks completely like him, a lot like him. And obviously, like, because he looks like him, he looks also a lot like Laxus. So, yeah. And Elsa looks like Elsa. Like, I don't know what her name is. I'm sure we'll get in the next episode, we'll get the, her name. But that's just Elsa. <laughs> like, you know, that's Elsa. <laughs> and yeah okay so this episode uh this episode we get to see <clears throat> like what actually the whole thing with uh youtube or bcube there they call it uh, or btube btube yeah btube what that actually is they has like they have this handy type of a little cube which <laughs> which is called bcube and which they use uh, to record i'm guessing edit as well upload and, uh, and like everything it's like it's just like that thing that they need like they don't need so many <laughs> like you know things that we like require for example we all require a microphone a camera uh, like the, the computer as well like an editing software um a capturing software so many things and then we have to edit it like upload it nothing like the future is amazing i can see <laughs> they just need a small little cube which does everything so and it also like acts as a like you know um a television or like a computer as well so that's the future <laughs> and um yeah and then we get to know a little bit about mother um like there's like this lady in the uh, in space who just like is sitting on a 
like thing on the rocky thing and she is like you know like people don't know who she is what like i whether she's human or not obviously i don't think she's a human but like you know where did she come from and all like why is she shit sitting there and everything and I'm, I'm guessing like people also made this whole thing up that uh, she grants wishes i'm not sure if it's like a proven fact i doubt it's a proven fact because no one even went like there's no record of anyone going to them to her so like the, the whole thing uh, with like wishes oh the thing that wishes come to that was told to shiki by his grandfather okay so is that like a rumor or something or is that a proven fact i don't know anyways um that and like shiki feels as if like she he has met that person i'm guessing it must be something related to his past some, you know because like we don't know anything about shiki's past where he came from where did his grandfather find him and everything and what was he doing in granville <clears throat> And then he like you know kind of talks about it in the in the adventures guild everyone makes fun of him and happy gets catnapped <laughs> and then uh, a surprising thing comes into light is that <clears throat> happy's a machine so uh, at the beginning i was really confused i was thinking like what is happening like happy is like almost like bleeding and everything like, it seems as if he is dead or something and then like when we saw like you know happy again and i was thinking like oh maybe like obviously like happy is still alive here so it's, it must not be that he was dead it must be that he was extremely injured and you know like someone patched him up turns out that's actually not the case it's a little bit different that is like someone patched him up that is true but like you know he was made into a machine i'm guessing because i'm have hope like i'm thinking like most of his like organs like you know were like injured or something in a bad way so like you know uh, like they had to like replace it with machine parts another thing that i'm really curious about is who patched happy up now here's the thing like from uh, rebecca's background one thing we got is that like, she is abandoned she was abandoned by her parents and she's ex obviously that because of that she was extremely poor she had to you know like <clears throat> you know she had a very tough childhood so i doubt she had the money you know to uh go and like you know uh like to use on happy because like i doubt it is like replacing body parts with machine parts i doubt it's cheap and i doubt anyone would do it for free so i'm really curious who passed happy up and uh like you know did he or she that patched passed happy up are they like you know like um why did they do that like you know like uh like either like they're extremely kind or something or like i don't know like something must have happened there so i'm quite curious about that like who patched happy up and for what reason because like obviously i think i doubt rebecca had enough money to patch you know for happy to make happy uh like uh for happy's treatment so yeah that's one thing i'm curious about i hope we'll get an answer uh in the future yeah and another thing we got to know is like um they're saying that she like the happy is from the exceed planet now i can see a lot of terms you know from the fairy tale like uh in fairy tale uh, exceed uh like you know exceed was a completely uh, excuse me uh, <clears throat> like uh, it was from adelus like it was like a completely different kind of thing like so they're like bringing exceed here so i'm guessing like there is a planet of exceeds you know and i'm guessing probably in the future we might go there uh like you know uh in while like they're adventuring and everything so yeah i'm looking forward to that as well who knows like you know like we might meet carla and panther lily as well <laughs> like i don't know like anything can happen <laughs> and i can see one thing that hiro mashima really loves like you know uh, bringing characters like you know from their previous like works in this like you know in the newest works i'm like completely fine with that i i see i've i think i've seen a few people uh like you know after like uh, watching the first episode on the comment section 
uh, a lot of people kind of like uh, not a lot of people but a few people were not happy with the fact that they are reusing characters you know um, reusing characters from uh, fairy tale now according to me i'm fine with it like it's hero mashima's manga he can do whatever what he wants with it and like you, you know i like and i and i and i think like it's is like you know i'm i'm um what can i say like uh, i don't feel like much uh, like any you know like any kind of uh like i'm for this what i what i'm trying to say is i am uh like it's not that i disagree with this but i am for like ugh, i cannot explain properly like i don't mind like you know using characters from his previous work and i think it's kind of a small little you know um, surprise for uh, people who have watched fairy tale like you know we can kind of uh connect people together like oh like he looks like uh, she looks like ersa or oh this character looks like this character and like uh, something that, as i said like uh, like i kind of like pointed uh, towards a character in the opening and said that like this character is like a fusion of wendy and kagura now some other people might find it like you know might find a resemblance with some other character and might say that oh this character looks like that which i probably was unable to recognize or something or like you know pinpoint so it's like a fun thing i i'm really glad that like it's like you know like this is like a small little bonus for uh, us people who have watched fairy tale uh now people who have not watched fairy tale i don't think they can understand this thing uh obviously like unless and until you watch fairy tale you cannot like make like you know connections to the different characters but it's like you know a small little bonus for us like fairy tale fans <laughs> and everything so yeah i don't mind that and i think it's like you know it's something like it's quite cool that he is doing something like this <clears throat> but yeah like people might twist this whole thing and like say that oh like he's reusing character models that means he does not have any kind of creativity i don't think that's the case if he like if hiro mashima does not have creativity he probably wouldn't have been like making manga like you know like i i think that he's just using these characters because it's like a fun thing you know like using uh, character models from fairy tale and as i said like it's like a small little bonus for us fairy tale fans so like like a little easter eggs or something <laughs> so yeah like I, I like i i'm really like you know i don't have any problem with this and i'm really glad that it is something like this he's doing something like this because it's something quite cool at least according to me but yeah and uh, yeah as i was saying like uh, then happy turns out to be a machine and uh, happy turns out to be able to transform into a gun <laughs> yes <laughs> so here like in in like fairy tale lucy used celestial magic here rebecca uses happy to shoot <laughs> and uh, the the like i'm really uh, another thing that really surprised me is that the how they named happy like you know in fairy tale like uh, as far as i can remember nasu also named happy happy because you know like happy brought happiness to everyone so nasu named happy happy <laughs> and rebecca here is like also the, done the, has done the same thing like because happy made rebecca happy rebecca named happy happy you know so yeah like that, that's like you know that's like an extreme like coincidence i think <laughs> but anyways uh, yeah this was great uh, this was a great episode and uh, in the end we saw ersa with a sword you know and it seems as if ersa knows something about shiki you know they were like talking about like the demon's grandson like came out of granville and everything so i'm guessing uh like our main characters are going to meet elsa soon and i'm calling her elsa because i don't know her name like they kind of like introduced her but it was in japanese and there was no translation there so i cannot say what her name is but i'm sure we'll get to know that and oh another thing that i noticed in the openings and endings this uh what's what's his name blue isn't it that like that celestial speed from fairy tale who looks like a dog and a weird like a snowman with a carrot nose like 
like lucy called him a dog i don't know how that is a dog but anyways <laughs> so like play we also saw play and <laughs> yeah i'm quite looking forward to meeting all these characters you know like <laughs> Uh, it's quite fun so yeah guys that was it that was this episode it was uh, this was eden's zero episode number two i'm really liking this and the whole small little like you know bonus easter eggs and everything the cameo that that we saw here in this episode of leva levy and uh like um well the other like i think the name was jet and troy i cannot remember their names i'm sorry <laughs> it's been a long time i've watched fairy tale and uh yeah like you know these like small little cameos the small little like easter eggs i can say like you know like how other characters look like some diff different characters how like some other characters are like a fusion of two characters and all and i'm really happy and i'm quite interested at the whole thing of like rebecca trying to get a million subscribers and <laughs> she keep getting a hundred friends like these two like you know goals main goals are so what can i say ordinary and you know unique like you know <laughs> i'm looking forward to what happens and like i'm sure shiki will eventually get 100 friends after that what will his new goal will be getting a thousand friends i'm guessing <laughs> and i'm also guessing like leveka will also get a million subscribers soon enough and you know like after that word 10 million subscribers <laughs> becoming the best in youtube uh, btube <laughs> something like that <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, yeah so that's it guys uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this was episode number two of idiom zero so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be checking them all out so yeah guys and um, i'll be back with another episode of idiom zero next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day